Zoll has to save the rebound. Lucky. And does with the right hand as she lost it initially into Williams. Now gets it back to Zoll, feeding it back to her. Little streaks in and lays it off the glass and good. Charnay nearly lost that rebound, then got the ball and got a beautiful assist. They will try to take away the speed factor that UAB is used to by being able to dribble by people. If you cut the distance down, they don't have as much room to get by people. Zoll to the baseline, running right hander is good. Charnay knows that for her to be a, an excellent point guard at this level, that her team has to do well and so that it's just really important for her and she's taken that and she's embraced that uh, it's been a very very important part of her um, game and I just think that she's just really made it a, a a priority for her. Zoll throws the skip pass to McGuire. Brenna hesitates, now steps in for a shorter jump shot and drains it. Zoll will bring it back with a hip high dribble in the corner right to right, weaving across the lane. Monica through traffic, off balance and scores it off the glass. Has her first field goal, it's a four point Virginia lead. Right baseline, right drops it off to a cutting Williams. That combination again, Monica drew attention, hit Williams and she scored in tight. And has to save it and does so very alertly back to McGuire. Now Kellum behind the back and the pull up back line jumper book it. Well, that's what we talked about in the locker room. We wanted to come out and close the door at that point. That was the whole point was to sort of put them in the books early as soon as we could. And so we just ran the wings a little bit wider and started tossing the ball up. And that's when things started to open up for us. We started, we scored, I think, on our first seven or eight possessions. And that was the difference right there. Zoll baseline right into McGuire. Open to pump the baseline three. Bingo. Brittany Milner sets up high pick and roll with uh, Hardig right off the screen. Takes it all the way down the lane. And Brittany Milner scores it off the glass. Inbounds from Zoll to Robertson. Brittany Jones back on for the Blazers. She had 10 first half points. Right for a right side three. Got it. Sometimes a player can get pick up three fouls and then become ineffective or not as effective and she was very effective in the second half. And that really that really showed me a lot about her maturity. Rebound to Little. Zoll. Long pass up the floor. Cherry picking his right. She stops and Jones goes sailing out of bounds and then Wright just casually lays the ball in. I thought we played hard tonight and uh, made a few there were a few lapses, but I thought for the most part we played hard and we followed the we followed the game plan for the most part. And Zoll will bring it back to the Cavaliers. Charney on the left wing to McGuire to pump the three. Got it. Here's Kellum left of the lane. Sweeps in with a running hook shot. And Paulicia gets it to go about five feet away. Zoll to McGuire outside left. Brenna drives back and centers the ball in the middle of the floor. Now Kellum slashing down the lane. Running fingertip roll off the glass and just good. I thought she gave us great minutes. Um, she's strong inside. She can post people up. She goes to the boards hard. She knows what her role is. And uh, she gives it to you every night. You know, she plays hard every night. We just didn't have enough people coming with her on the same plane every single possession. That was what our problem was tonight. Three threes in a row for the Richmond Spiders. I felt like we were running in mud the whole game. We just weren't playing hard enough most of the time. Spins away from right and lays it in softly.